towers. No compromise. No towers. No compromise. No towers. No compromise. My name is Xi Shen Ning. I'm a member of the Low East Side Organized Neighbors Lesson. Today, we, the community of Chinatown and the Low East Side, are filing a lawsuit against the city for its illegal approval of four luxury mega towers in the Two Bridges waterfront. From the beginning, we were told that nothing can be done to stop it, and we should better back for crumbs. But we refuse to sell out in exchange for crumbs because this is our community. How can we be okay with these four monsters plus Excel Tower, which not only bring in thousands of luxury units and raise rents and real estate tax, forcing our working class families and small business, but also take away air, sunlight, clean water, the natural resources necessary for our health? Make no mistake, this is robbery. De Blasio is robbing our community to feed the rich. Cannons getting sick and evicted, mom and pop stores closed, our voices not count, and our mayor shamelessly calls this the fairest big city in America. We have been told many times that what we want is unrealistic, but how can we compromise our lives, our dignity, our community? Over the years, our voice has become louder and stronger, from being called unrealistic to standing here today, suing the city for what's obviously wrong. Why? Because our community is rising up, right? This past MLK Day, hundreds of people marched in the freezing cold to demand the Brazil stop displacing us. This is people's lawsuit. It's people versus the city of big real estate. And the people has taken a firm stand. No towers, no compromise. Most importantly, the community of Chinatown and the Low East Side and communities across the city who dare to stand up against Mayor de Blasio's displacement agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's hear from our plaintiffs, our residents, our members of the community to come up and make a speech. Uh, to say why they're suing the city. Let's welcome Arnett and the plaintiff. Hello, my name is Arnett Scott, and I'm a proud plaintiff on this lawsuit. Woo! I'm here today to personalize um, this lawsuit. We, also, we already have the main agenda of stopping displacement, the, the destruction or gentrification of neighborhoods, but what the plaintiffs here are now, we're fighting for the immediate the immediate effects of, the, of these towers, and that is crippling our health. I am a parent of, child, of young children. I have a mother who has chronic lung problems. I want to be here for my family. I want to live. I want to have the right to breathe. So we stand here not only against what the, what's going to happen to generations to come, but what's going to happen to us today. If those buildings go up, we will then lose the right to have clean air. We will lose the right to have clean water. We will lose the right to have good sanitation. This is going to affect our health immediately, not tomorrow, not 10 years from now. Just a couple of yards from here, we have an African burial ground. I do not want to be memorialized on the Lower East Side because I died due to the destruction of my community. We're here to fight not only just for our community, but for our lives. This is a life and death situation. De Blasio, I voted for De Blasio because he said that he would help with housing. He would help with displacement. He would then put forward affordable housing. He has not done that. Oh, he's lied. And what he's done is created another, what he's trying to do is create another burial ground. And I will not be memorialized. I will live. And I'm fighting to live. Our plaintiffs are fighting to live and have a good quality of life. And thank you again for listening. Let's hear from Ken Kimoneng from ODEF, who is representing us in court. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming out this afternoon, this morning. You know, the developers.
Ford's came into this process and claiming that they, as of right, can build these towers and destroy a community. Why? As of right, it stinks of aristocracy. We all know in which the real estate age, the real estate industry controls this city. As of right, well, it's clearly as of wrong here. This is a great wrong. They're, they're, the city is bowing down and praying in front of these four t enormous towers, probably the most congested area in the whole city. Four towers, 60 and 80 stories high in one block on the Lower East Side and in Chinatown. It's going to destroy that community, and they're just cashing it in. 3,000 units of housing, most of them, over, over 2,000 of them are for rich luxury condos. Of course. This has got to stop, and we're going to court to stop it. No towers, no, no compromise. Coalition to protect Chinatown in the Lower East Side. Yeah. Hello, neighbors, plaintiffs, we love you. Thank you for standing here in this cold rain to once again demand a redress of grievances. We've been asking this for years. This is unacceptable. Our mayor has sold us out and his city planning commission as well. They are not planning for the common good. They're planning for the welfare of developers at the expense of everyone else, and this has to stop. Yes. Yes. Um, I want to thank all my neighbors that have worked so tirelessly to read the fine print, because these people are distorting the law to make it work for them, and this has to stop. That's why we're suing today, that's why we're here all standing in the rain, and we're going to continue. Um, yeah. I just wanted to say also that this is one more outrageous example. This is happening all over the city. The housing policies that this, this administration has in place are destroying neighborhoods all across the city, especially neighbors of low-income people of color. This is happening all over. So... Um, Please continue to fight. Reach out to each other. Show up for, the, for each other. We have to unite against this, this travesty. This is unacceptable. New York is a city for us all. This is what this is the, this is the way we live here, damn it. This is, and we have the right to live here. And we make this city. Why do you want to have these like glass towers with people like like over there in the heights having their their luxury condos the, the wealth park in the sky where we like get pushed away no that's not going to happen over our dead bodies we're going to continue to fight yeah. compañeros seguimos todo aquí en la lucha no vamos a parar vamos a ir a toda la, vamos a usar todos nuestros recursos contra esta 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 cosa horrible que es la gentrificación y el desarrollo de lujo indiscriminado destruyendo nuestra ciudad. Whose city? Our city. Whose city? Our city. Us all. Thank you all for being here. Gracias a todos por venir.
Let's continue to organize. Right? Yeah. This concludes our press conference today. Thank you, everyone, for coming up. Thank you, everyone, for showing love and unity. Let's continue. Thank you.